Hi, in this lesson we're going to start our discussion on command line tools by talking about some of the file management commands you could use to manage your files and folders in Windows. So there are a lot of commands you could do to manage these files and folders, so we're just going to talk about some of the more popular ones here and show you some examples. So the first one we're going to talk about is dir for directory. So I have the command prompt open here, so on the C drive, in the users folder, in a folder called Todd S, so that's a subfolder of users. So we're going to type in dir, and this shows us that we have additional subfolders within this Todd S folder, as noted by the dir there. And then there's zero files and 15 folders here. So just because it says zero files doesn't mean there aren't any files in these folders here, just within this folder. So if we use our next command, cd for change directory, we could go into a different folder. So let's go to the desktop folder, which is a subfolder here, right there. So cd space desktop. Now if we do dir again, you can see that we have some additional folders on the desktop as well as some files. So file 1, file 2, folder 1, 2, and 3 matches here. So these have a zero next to it because there's nothing in the file, so zero bytes. So if I open this one, you can see there's nothing in it. So we have four files and five directories in this folder. Okay, so for our next command here, we're going to do a copy. So we're going to copy file one into folder one. So to do that, we just type in copy space file one.txt and then space folder one. So this is telling us copy file one into folder one. We press enter. One file copied. Now you can see it pops up there and we have a copy of it there. Okay, so now we're going to try to move a file. So we're going to move file 2 into folder 2. So move file 2.txt folder 2. One file moved, so it disappeared, and now it's in here. Okay, pretty simple so far. Okay, so now we're going to delete a file using the del command. So we'll delete file one. So del file one txt. Now you can see the file is gone. So keep in mind when you're using these commands, it's only going to be working on the folder that you're in. So if you want to copy something to a different folder, you'll have to put a different path such as copy file one.txt. So let's say c colon backslash. other folder data like that. So that way it'll copy the file one from the desktop into the data folder that's located within this other folder subfolder. Okay, let's clear that out. Okay, so now we're going to do the next command, make directory, which will make a folder. Okay, mkdir, let's do folder four. All right, so there's our folder four. Okay, so now I'm going to copy some contents here into this folder real quick, doing the easy way. Okay, so now we have folders and files within folder four here. And I wanted to do that before we ran the next command, which is remove directory. So let's do rmdir folder four. Now you can see we have a message here saying, this directory is not empty. So in this case, we're going to have to use a switch here. So we're going to use slash s. And say yes, are we sure? Okay, so that deleted everything within that folder. So if the folder itself was empty, you could just use the rmdir, but if it has files or folders in it, you need to put the slash s, which will delete all the subfolders. Okay, so next on our list is format. So this will format a drive, but I'm not going to show you an example of that because I don't want to format my hard drive, but you could just do format with the drive letter and that'll format your drive for you. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to do the xcopy command, which copies directories, subdirectories, and files. So this comes in handy if you're doing a folder or folders with many other subfolders in it. Okay, so we're going to do from folder one to folder two. So folder two right now only has the file two text and folder one has the new folder sound recordings and file one text. 
Okay, so I'm just going to copy this. Then we're going to use the slash s switch on this as well here. Okay, four files copied. So now if we go into folder two, you can see we have everything from folder one plus our current file that was file two, like that. Okay, so there is your lesson on file management using the command line. And of course, there's a little more to it than what I showed you, but this should give you a good understanding of how it works and some of the syntax you have to use uh, when working with your files and folders from the command line. Mm -hmm.